Here is the sewing tutorial for my maternity photo shoot dress. In the previous video, I showed you how to draft the pattern and to transfer the pattern to fabric. In this video, we are just moving on to sewing. You are welcome to Kem Africa. My name is Kemi Omorube. Enjoy the video. Here are all my fabric pieces we cut from the previous video. Moving on to sewing, I like to start with the back piece. Remember that the back piece has a bodies and a skirt separately. So I went ahead to sew the dart on these bodies and also on the skirt. Having done that, I will be moving on to attaching the facing on the neckline of this back piece. Starting by sewing half an inch and then you top stitch on the sewing allowance and the lining. You know how we do it here, right? Please note that this is a very quick tutorial as I was heavily pregnant and really struggling at this point. So yeah, I will try and explain in a way that you understand. So having done the fixing of the facing, I went ahead to attach the skirt onto the bodies for both sides of the back and this is what we have. Next, I went ahead to fix the zipper at the center back of the dress. Then I set this aside. We'll be moving on to the front piece. Remember the pieces we cut out for the cup, right? So these are the two for each side of the body. So I'll be going ahead to stitch these two together by half an inch, making sure that the bust point notch aligns with each other. Here are the bust cups. I went ahead to notch this and to give it a good press. I will encourage you to go ahead and do that. You can make use of a bust ham to help you achieve that rounded look. Next, I'll be fixing my already made bra cup. You can actually make use of a wadding, but that's what I use for this particular dress. So I am just fitting it into my piece right there just to be sure it fits properly and then i went ahead to hold down the bra cup on the main piece using my pins remember that we have lining for this part of this dress okay and also there's a notch to indicate the center front right there so i'll be stitching the armhole of the main piece of fabric to the armhole of the lining and also stitching the neckline stopping at exactly the center front part of this cup this is what we have right here i went ahead to place my notches and you remember we still have like the bottom part of the cup open right so i turned this inside out and went ahead to give it a good press these are my two cups looking all pretty so on both sides of the cup just where i ended my stitches i went ahead to notch it so that i can turn the seam allowance of that part outside just watch what i'm trying to explain okay but before then i went ahead to put uh, this hot glue in order to attach the cup to the lining as well you can make use of any type of glue so having done that i am pinning the lining piece onto the bra cup just so we have this singular piece with the seam allowance on this part facing outside unlike the seam allowance on the other part of the cup which we turned inward okay that's why i notched the edges of the seam Next, I'm placing drapes on my bra cup because that's the style of this dress, guys. You can do this on your tabletop if you don't have a dress form, but a dress form may make it easier for you. Just go with what you prefer. If you're working on a table, go ahead and place your drapes or pleats <laughs> on the bra cup like so. Make sure that the two sides are neat, okay, because we are not turning the fabric or anything we're just making sure that the drape is neat on the sides like so so go ahead and hold these two together with pins repeat 
all the processes okay for the other side you know i've been focusing on explaining one side go ahead and repeat the process for the other side if you're working on a dress form you can achieve something similar with what i'm doing i went for a drip rather rather than a pleat that's for for this part of the tutorial i went ahead and created drapes on the dress form you can also make use of pleats like i said earlier on Once you are done creating your drapes, make sure you use your pins to attach it properly. You can then go ahead to cut off the drapes like so. Repeat the process for the other side. Having done this, I went ahead to attach this cup to the lower part of my front piece. I'm sorry that this part of the tutorial doesn't portray that. <laughs> this is a pregnant woman. Just sewing this alone was a lot of work, let alone filming alongside. I will try and explain once we get to the table. I think this makes it clear, right? So yeah my cup is fixed to the other part of the dress like so and we have our seam allowance looking like this so remember that we have a face seam for this part of the dress if you watch the pattern tutorial properly you will notice that i cut out a facing so here i'm going to be attaching this facing to the dress right side facing the right side or is it the wrong side now yeah right side facing the wrong side so i went ahead to pin my cup round the seam allowance like so a little trick here that you can use when sewing something similar is to notch on the lining so that it elongates a bit and you can fit these two in properly and you won't have any deficit on both sides of the fabric here's our finished look looking great so far yeah remember the back piece yes <laughs> now we are going to be bringing it back into the picture because we will be attaching the front part of this dress to the back side of this dress this is our zip looking all good yeah we are going to be attaching the front and the back piece together along the shoulder the way we usually do it on this channel is to sandwich the front all of the front in between the back piece and the back lining and in this case it's a facing right so we're going to be sewing the shoulder together and the armhole closed like so so that we can achieve a neat look now on to the last step we're going to be attaching the front and the back piece together along the side i just made use of a one inch wide seam allowance recall that we didn't add seam allowance to this initially but the fabric is very stretchy this is the fit I achieved with mine. If you want it more fitted, I will advise that you actually reduce your body measurement and still don't add seam allowance. But it actually depends on how stretchy your fabric is, okay? Yeah, if your fabric isn't stretchy, you need to make use of your actual body measurement. This is my dress so far. I went ahead to add a little spice to this. I bought this for about four yards of organza and i'll just be draping it on my body to make it look prettier for the pictures for the gram yeah creativity is key thank you very much for watching i hope you have learned something from this video if you did learn anything please give this video a thumbs up remember to subscribe if you haven't see you in the next video bye